You know one of the biggest problems on any of these restaurants when you go to eat a home dish, right? But you don't know their language. You know, you could be eating Nepali, you could be eating Bengali, you could be eating Indian, Pakistan, whatever it is. You want to eat a, a food and these people got the best food in the planet, right? The biggest issue is the front desk person. Like imagine you go for coffee every day and the front register person does not know anything, not even a basic talk. They can't even com communicate with you, messed up your drink, ask you a million questions for simple stuff. This is a serious issue. This is more common in New York because New York have the best the, like the number one melting pot over here. New York had this issue where these people does not know how to communicate. They hire these people from the streets, you know, no training of English. Your mouth really gonna hurt by over explaining stuff. They don't understand anything and this is always a struggle. Now, if you try to be talk back and you try to talk back second time, that also affects your service. They're, they're gonna consider you as a mean, uh, you're, you're little, you give us hard time. No, douchebag, you don't know how to speak English properly, all right? That's a simple thing. It makes you shock, like when you come from a very strict country, strict culture, or when you come from a even medium class from other country, you'll be shocked. And this thing always bothered me is that people who came after you or people that you go to get a service from, these people came from even much more lower class level or from the same place and then it makes you think like yo how in the world do you even got a job like that because when i was little i think i had a chance to do this uh, if i wouldn't make a mistake they would have fired me instantly you will see these people i don't know how they got this type of job obviously family does not know any english and then they don't they have this best job security and if they mess up they get better job security and their manager gonna protect them and fight with you as a customer like this type of people exist in new york and in the restaurant industry this is a problem you would get fired instantly or as a bartender right but or, or or server or anything any service provider but when you go to them when you when you go to somebody else bar or when you go to somebody else restaurant they're gonna group up they're gonna try to beat you up on the parking lot and that's gonna be still fine like that i'm giving an example this is not really necessarily happen or anything i don't know what's up with this private place this private place which led me to this one thing is that the private place private locations private everything make their own rules my friend it depends but like what is a private location private authorized dealer of something something all always an issue they have energy problems but when they try to this is why they don't want to work go through the corporate and they want to come up with their own little mom and pop shop and mom and pop shops are really racist they make their own rules and new york is not taking care of this colored place that these colored people become your manager and they make their own rules and they make your kid look so bad or your daughter and your son look so bad even you i don't know which channel i'm gonna put this in negativity channel or food channels i have no idea this is a serious issues you know and i don't know when we're gonna talk about this thing this and then another topic too if you work under this colored boss that's another story my goodness like i, I don't nobody's talking about this thing like nobody's talking about the colored boss or working under colored people like if you're working under turkish people you're gonna get treated different if you if you work under italian people you're gonna get treated different if you want to work under uh, some other brown culture or Hispanic culture, they're gonna treat you different. These things is matter. These things matter, but for some reason, the government and the city, and they don't want you to talk about this color base because the moment you say that, I think they're gonna be like big loss of money in the, on the whole system. And I think they try to kind of cover that up because in news, I don't know why they're not talking about this. And a little bit bonus is the race, gender and other stuff does not make sense. They put it on the paper that, hey, this is not about the race. We don't discriminate with the age, race, gender or disability. That is completely full of shit. They do that on the paper. Paper say one thing, but you're going to do completely opposite behind your back over 